I have a set of smartphones with broken screen like this one that is completely smashed and the problem is how do you access this phone to turn on your USB debugging or set the default USB configuration to file transfer or even put in the lock screen pin or password. I've done videos in the past that will show you how to do that but none of them comes close to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we're going to use this phone, uh, this is the Samsung X8 with a broken screen and with this $5 chip adapter uh, that is USB-C to HDMI, we're going to use this phone without needing to turn on anything, no software, no USB debugging, as if it wasn't broken or the screen is still working. You ready for that magic? Come with me, let's get started. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. And since 2016, Android phone has been supporting the USB-C out to HDMI. And it started with the LG G5 in 2016, followed by HTC 10 and then Asus Zenfone 3 Ultra. In 2017, Huawei and Samsung joined the game for display port out uh, with Huawei Mate 10 and Samsung X8 series which I have one here. Um, after that, every other Android OEM started jumping in. OnePlus, um, Lenovo, Motorola, Sony, Xperia, all of them just started jumping in and using the DisplayPort function from the USB Type-C. But then there are some Android OEM that cut corners to cell phone chip like Xiaomi and Realme who do not put this function in their phone. So if you are using the Xiaomi or Realme phone, uh, this video might not be useful to you. But then, um, if you want to see uh, where I made a video about how OEM cut corners to cell phone chip, why not click on the cards right now to view that video and talk about clicking. Um, it's also time to click on the subscribe button. Not that it does anything special than give us the bragging rights <laughs> about how many subscribers we have. But really, if you like this video and you like the channel, click on the like button. That one helps a lot. <laughs> Thank you. And so let's go in. Let me show you how this thing works and how this can save you from every stress if your phone screen is broken or you want to access and use your phone with a broken screen. So here is my setup, I uh, have a mouse, keyboard, the phone itself, the adapter and also a USB uh, hub if you want to connect both uh, mouse and keyboard at the same time you have to use a USB hub because the adapter just have one USB port. Uh, mouse is good if you are going to go through pattern you know, to unlock your phone. This screen is cracked and touch screen not working so let me connect it and voila it's up so now that it's up we're going to connect mouse and use mouse because this phone is using pattern so there's no way you can use keyboard for pattern you connect mouse and drag alongside uh, the pattern with your mouse so once we open there are a whole lot we can do right now that we've opened the phone and we can use it we can save, send our backups to the cloud or anything but then you can even do more we can go straight back into the about phone go to the build number and then tap on it seven times to enable developer option so with that you can drag alongside uh, with your mouse also to enable developer options so now we have developer option there are two things you can actually do in developer options here uh, the first one is to turn on usb debugging um, there are still more things you would do but i'll do it in a separate video uh, about usb debugging how you then activate usb debugging then the next one is also default USB configuration. So you make sure that your default USB configuration is set to file transfer or transferring files depending on the phone you're using. So with these two things, you can just connect your phone to a laptop or PC and copy out all your files. So that's just about that. Then let me give you the bonus. As you can see, I'm using the keyboard and the mouse at the same time, which probably turns my phone into a computer but then as you can see this screen is completely blown out right now if I get this adapter right now and I add it uh, connect a charger to it it automatically activates a Samsung desk <laughs> Samsung desk <laughs> by itself 
which is very 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 powerful okay so um let me know in the comment section how whether you this will work in your phone whether you've tried it or whether you still having challenges as i send the phone with broken screen and i'll try my best to give you the best clear answer that i can provide not until i see you in the next video peace to our world right. I see.